like that consciousness. This is Webster, but not Marion Webster. This is Rebecca Webster. Marion Webster is not actually a girl. Marion Webster is more like three guys. Let me break it down for you. Rebecca Webster was married to Noah Webster. Noah Webster Jr. to be exact. After 20 plus years of intensive work and learning over 20 plus languages, Webster published his first dictionary in 1806 called A Compendious Dictionary of the English Language. Yes compendious right on the front of his dictionary i don't know if this is good marketing or bad marketing because i can see if you're like picking up the compendious dictionary the first word you're gonna look up is compendious like what does that even mean but then at the same time you know it's probably bad marketing because just the next year in 1807 he changed the name to an american dictionary of the english language i don't think i've ever even heard the word compendious ever used so i had to look it up i mean context clues kind of give you an idea of what it means but here's the formal definition, containing or presenting the essential facts of something in a comprehensive but concise way. And no, I didn't get that out of the Merriam-Webster's dictionary. I just Googled it. So you're probably asking, well, who's Merriam? Well, in 1843, after Webster died, George and Charles Merriam bought the rights to the dictionary from Webster's estate. Now, the name of the dictionary changed a bunch of times. Uh, for example, like in 1864, it was called an American Dictionary. In 1890, it was retitled Webster's International. And by 1983, the name was changed to uh, Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Now, I think the confusion on who Merriam-Webster is, is it a guy, is it a girl? Like, why don't we know like that's two last names? I think it's because the most popular selling, the America's best-selling dictionary is the 11th edition. And on that title, it says Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Edition Dictionary. So... By adding that S to the end of the name and Miriam being more synonymous with um, a girl's name as opposed to somebody's last name, I can understand why, you know, people might be confused. And when I say people, I'm talking about me. All right, y'all. It's your boy, Mike. Do me a favor. Hit that like. I'm trying to grow the tribe. So if you like this video, go ahead and click subscribe. And always remember, look both ways before you cross the street.